Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this diode circuit and here we have been given that the voltage drop across these two diodes D1 and D2 are 0.7 and the 0.3 volt respectively. So here we have been asked to find which of the following statement is true. So for the given circuit, let us consider all the four cases one by one. And first, let us consider both this diode D1 and D2 are off. Now if these two diodes D1 and D2 are in the off condition, then no current will flow through these diodes. And in that case, it will act as an open circuit. So in the open circuit condition, if you see the voltage across these two diodes, then it will be equal to 10 volt. Now if the voltage across these two diodes is equal to 10 volt, then they should conduct. Because these two diodes will conduct whenever the voltage across them is more than 0.7 and the 0.3 volt respectively. That means we can say that this condition is not true. So let us consider second case where this diode D1 is on while the D2 is off. Now when this diode D2 is in the off condition, then no current will flow through this diode. And since the diode D1 is on, so the voltage drop across this diode D1 will be equal to 0.7 volt. And the same voltage will also appear across this diode D2. Now we know that this diode D2 will on whenever the voltage across it is more than 0.3 volt. But in this case, since this VD2 is equal to 0.7 volt, so it should conduct. That means we can say that this condition is also not true. So now let us consider the third case where both this diode D1 and D2 are in the on condition. Now when these two diodes are in the on condition, then the voltage drop across these two diodes will be 0.7 volt and the 0.3 volt respectively. So let's say this current is equal to I1 while this current is equal to I2. And since these two diodes are in the on condition, so the forward current through these two diodes will flow in this direction. So if this condition is true, then this current I1 will be equal to 10 volt minus 0.7 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm that is equal to 9.3 milliampere while this current I2 is equal to this 0.7 volt minus 0.3 volt divided by 20 ohm that is equal to 20 milliampere that means this current is 9.3 milliampere while this current I2 is equal to 20 milliampere. Now if we apply the KCL over here, then the forward current through this diode should flow in this direction. Because then and then only, this current I2 will become 20 milliampere. Now as per this condition, since the diode D1 is in the on condition, so the current should flow in the downward direction. And as you can see, both the statements are contradictory. That means this condition is also not true. That means now we are only left with the one condition. That is D1 is off and the D2 is on. And this condition has to be true. So let us find out. So when this diode D1 is in the off condition, then let's say the current which is flowing through the circuit is equal to I. And in this condition, the voltage drop across this diode D2 will be equal to 0.3 volt. So we can say that this current I is equal to 10 volt minus 0.3 volt divided by this 1 kilo ohm plus 20 ohm which is roughly equal to 9.5 milliampere. And since this current is flowing in the forward direction, so D2 is indeed in the on condition. But now let us check whether this diode D1 is in the off condition or the on condition. And for that, let us find the voltage at this node. Let's say the voltage at this node is equal to Vx. So if this voltage Vx is less than 0.7 volt, then indeed this diode D1 is in the off condition. So this voltage Vx is equal to this 10 volt minus the voltage drop across this 1 kilo ohm resistor. That is equal to this 1 kilo ohm times I, which is roughly equal to 9.5 milliampere. So we can say that this voltage Vx is approximately equal to 0.5 volt. And since this voltage is less than 0.7 volt, 
so indeed this dot d1 is in the off condition that means this condition that is d1 is off and the d2 is on is the correct condition so from this we can say that for the given question this c is the correct answer